I have ADHD. That's something I've been dying to get off my chest for a while, but I've just been too scared to talk about it. Social media, television, and even medical professionals inundate us with this propaganda, saying that ADHD is a lack of discipline, a character flaw, a behavioral defect from having too much sugar and poor parenting. But if it was really that easy to just focus yourself into staying focused, don't you think we would have done it by now? There's so much I can say about my experience with ADHD, jumping through bureaucratic hoops to find treatment, being shamed by loved ones that I thought would support me, the stigma surrounding medication as treatment, which is a first-line treatment that has done wonders for my quality of life, but I digress. I'll save those stories for another time. This is me. Really me. No more masking, hyper-editing, and trying to present myself as a neurotypical girl in a neurotypical world. I'm a proud Korean-American woman with ADHD, and this is what my life is really like. Good morning, friends. Long time no vlog again. I have been trying to vlog, but recently, or at least the past week, I got my period, which means I'm already brain dead. Um, I onboarded a new client, which means brain also extra dead. And then my ADHD was just really acting up and I, it was either she vlogs or she gets life things done, like feeding herself, grocery shopping, take care of this baby dog that is dependent on her, so I chose that option. I'm sorry, I literally know that last time I said, oh, I'll post a video every week. Four videos per month, that is the new standard. I apologize, again, like, I am trying to do my best, but ADHD is a bitch and a half, and this is right now the best I can do. I had such a good day, a good morning this morning. I didn't put on my Apple Watch when I went to take him to the dog park and go to the um, go on the run and stuff, words. So I just like don't have that Apple ring closed. And frankly, I just, it's not that I necessarily care about closing all my Apple rings. It's just nice for me to see how consistent my uh, daily activities are and like my exercise and how much I'm actually getting in because otherwise I truly have no idea. One of the downsides of having ADHD is that I just like don't remember to do things. Like I have an afternoon medication that I take for it and nine times out of 10, I forget until it's pretty late, uh, which is embarrassing. I don't really talk about having ADHD a lot, but um, I, I've spent a lot of time like internally reflecting and thinking about this physiological disorder that presents itself in neuro like psychological symptoms and I feel like I'm comfy and ready to start like talking about it and discussing it just because I feel like it's personally explained so many of my own personal quirks and behaviors to me um because growing up and just you know getting into life I thought that there was like something wrong with me like why can't I just like sit down and do my homework like everyone else. How come I can't remember to do this thing that I've already gotten in trouble for um, consistently for like 10 years? Like, why can't I remember? Or why do I just feel like my brain is so noisy all the time and I can't just have empty head, no thoughts? Anyway, I digress in short. I hope that by sharing my experience with ADHD, um, especially as an Asian American woman, helps others out there, um, especially women with ADHD, Asian women with ADHD, or just people of color with ADHD, we tend to get very uh, under or misdiagnosed because, you know, Asian girls are so good at school and there's no way that they could have ADHD. They're not hyperactive or impulsive or whatever. Um, No, it turns out we are. Uh, So yeah, I hope that this helps people find some solace in, you know, this crazy world that is mental health and also this crazy planet that we live in right now. And also I feel like I just need to do this for me. It's really just for me. Uh, I want to start being more honest with myself about this and 
help me internalize that this is a legitimate thing that I have. ADHD is not a uh, character flaw. It's not a lack of discipline that causes me to be this way. It is a physiological disorder that presents itself with uh, social behavioral symptoms. So, because there are moments where I like get really in my own head about this and I'll just like have an existential crisis like, hmm, is ADHD real or am I just addicted to amphetamines? And then I realize I don't even remember to take them. So anyway, I feel like I say I digress all the time because now you know how my brain really is. In completely unrelated news, I purchased a Dyson... It's the hair curler hair dryer thing because I got a haircut. Um, and when my hair is this short, I get like mushroom head and I'm really, really bad about styling my hair. Um, I just don't have the patience for it. I feel like hair care and hair maintenance is one of those things that's incredibly painful and frustrating. And one of the things about having curly hair, at least for me, that I found is that I benefit the most when uh, it is styled or like blow dried styled, but I can't do the two hand thing because I don't have the dexterity. So I purchased a Dyson. Uh, by the way, I know that Dyson is doing like their round of PR and gifting about this product in order, in order to get more clout for their new launch. Purchased this myself with my own dang money. Um, wallet is crying, but hopefully hair is happy. I just lightly blow dried my hair for probably like a minute um, just to get it from dripping to not dripping and then I'm gonna let it air dry a bit. I ate breakfast, brushed my teeth, uh, changed, and now I'm back. I am going to be using the paddle brush smoothing attachment and see if this works. Gotta close the door or else the dog will freak out. Quick first impression is that I really like the way that this requires me to dry my hair because I have so much hair and it's pretty fine. Um, so my, like the bottom layers typically aren't dry for another four or five hours that I love. Only downside is that because my hair is so short and I don't have like strands to hold, it gets a little hot around my neck. So I'm gonna toss a towel around my neck and then continue. I definitely still need to put in some product to weigh it down just because my hair is so fine, but I want to kick it out of bed. I still think that there's a little bit of a learning curve that I need to master because this side is a bit straighter than this side. As you can see, like this is more Ilcha A-frame and this is more like the Elizabeth Taylor uh, old school Hollywood glam lift. Maybe that's giving myself a little bit too much credit, but um, yeah, I'm gonna just like Try to replicate on this side and call it a day. And then maybe like run a curl cream or something through it just to weigh down the frizz. I am genuinely impressed at how easy it is to use this just because I am so uh, hair inept. I will just wear a hat because it's just I can't be bothered to figure out how to do my hair, but holy crap. Um, so yeah, unsponsored first impressions. I would say that I give it like, I don't know, Seven out of 10 stars because it integrates really well into my lifestyle. I don't have to wait for my hair to dry and then style it because it's drying it as it's styling. So I really love that feature. My hair also just is quite textured. So there's very little I can do about flyaways and frizz for the most part. But the fact that my hair is this sleek and smooth has never happened before with any other blow dryer or heat styling. Only downside would be the price point, uh, just because it is so expensive and super inaccessible for most people because who wants to spend $600 on hair tools. I like the fact that, you know, there's right to repair, um, they're not outmoding old models for new ones, which I love. They're not playing the Apple game. Yeah, I guess like the only thing is just like the price point and the 
learning curve for my hair, but all things considered are pretty fucking good. I've never been able to do my hair this quickly. It, my hair has never been this decent looking and dry after a shower within an hour, so 10 out of 10, well, seven and a half, eight out of 10, seven and a half, eight out of 10 for now. I'm sure that the more I use it, the more I will like it, but I'm not mad. Today's face of the day. Lots of pimples, because I kept wearing foundation and it was super lightweight, so it didn't feel like I had foundation on. And then I kept forgetting to wash my face. Are you ready? Come here. Oh, buddy, are you pooped? 2.15, I am drinking a Coca-Cola because this has been my, I don't know, beverage of choice in the afternoons. I no longer drink an afternoon coffee. I drink uh, Coke instead. This is like way worse for me than even an oat milk mocha, but whatever. I've been so busy lately with this client um, that I don't have time to eat. So I Uber eated some tonkatsu, but I don't want to like lose the flow. So I'm gonna finish um, the flow. I'm gonna finish this work. I'm doing some like Photoshopping and all that stuff. So yeah, I'm just gonna finish this up and then I will eat lunch but you know when you're in i'm not sure if anyone else ever experiences this but you know when you're in a flow and you can't pull yourself away like right now even vlogging is hard uh so yeah okay brb and in typical adhd fashion i stopped vlogging because i forgot that that was something i was doing so um that's it that's me I hope you guys found this at least interesting, but I'm excited for this new chapter, so thank you. Until next time.